Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. Um, I made um, a couple new dashboards that um, kind of come around uh, the net worth change ingredients. And uh, just for the longest time, I've, you know, thought that, um, you know, these components that, you know, of, of my finances had to make up the net worth change. And it was slightly off. And uh, I couldn't figure out what it was. It took me a couple weeks, and I figured out it was uh, the HSA change, just a small, you know, insignificant one. But uh, you know, I now have uh, the components of my net worth that you know it's it's change in a given month. You know, that being the uh, um, 401k input, the investment interest, the cash flow the house equity change, the truck equity change, and then the HSA change. Um, and, uh, you know, those are my, my, my six variables that I need to uh, try to win at um, every, every month. And uh, how about I share my screen? All right, here's this net worth uh, change ingredients. And uh, here's monthly snapshot. Well, to first talk about this, I wanted to build something that was very high level for, for a month to show uh, you know, what's the plan? What's the goal? And, uh, it, you know, we see we're honed in on September. So this current month, um, you know, I'm going to take home 8589 uh, I'm unfortunately going to spend far over that because I have to pay for a roof. And my cash flow is going to be negative uh, $2,235. Um, here are those six ingredients that I just mentioned. Cash flow is going to be negative. But all the others are going to be positive. And uh, overall net worth change, I should grow my net worth by 2000 So, you know, for these past two years, I'll be honest, I have had um, bad cash flow. Uh, if we go to this plot, in blue, you see the cash flow. You see in my early years, I was really good with keeping positive cash flow. As of late, uh, not so good. Um, you know, certainly buying a house has been the most significant factor in raising my expenses. But fortunately, uh, you know, my net worth continues to increase and, and increase. Not dramatically, this is my net worth, but uh, you know, it's it's done a good job of, of growing. And uh, the biggest factor is the house equity change. You know, um, if I go to snapshot, um, you know, for this month, my house equity should change by 2,500. Um, and then the other three factors, car equity change, HSA change, and 401k input. Um, that's all constant. We go to last month. Um, I had to put the down deposit on for the roof, and that was very expensive. Um, cash flow was very negative. Uh, net worth was only negative 1,200. Um, you know, the house equity changed by a lot. Um, I realized my truck was more worth more than I thought it was. Um, so it uh, wasn't a terrible month, but, you know, spending was very high. Um, to the right here is just the six components of my accounts, credit cards, um, house equity, car equity, retirement, cash, and savings. So that's the six components of my net worth. If you add those six, you get my net worth. Um, you know, going to this, this graph or for this dashboard, we're just honing in on the past and, uh, uh, ever since I've started uh, having, you know, capturing data, which was 2014, um, you know, this is showing everything. So overall, my net worth has changed by 191,000, and my cash flow has been positive 91,000. I've earned $30,000 in investment interest over my course. That's really good. I've put in uh, 59,000 into my 401k. And uh, the house equity has, uh, you know, gone up by fifty-six thousand. 
Um, I'm in negative equity with my truck. So as soon as I bought it, I was in negative, but you know, negative 6,000 HA say very insignificant, just a thousand. And that's this, this plot right here shows um, a stacked bar chart of the six components. And uh, over to the right is just the net worth change, both the actual and the derived. Derived is just the addition of these six components, and then actual is actual. So sometimes, you know, I misplace dollars. I, I don't know where it went. Um, it happens, but not often. I mean, you see how it's virtually the same. So this is the actual six ingredients. And if I go to the future, it's right on top of each other. It's a perfect sync because um, there's no error. Um, going back to the past you know here are the six ingredients and overall over my career this is how what's been the attribute attributors to my net worth change uh, this is in table form it starts off with showing all the years you see is for 2023 and 2024 my cash flow has been very negative and that's the most important thing that i got to fix but net worth has actually um gone up these two years thanks to house equity um so having a house is very expensive but your net worth does increase substantially just based on the house equity change and uh i just gotta it's still cash that i'm losing i'm, I'm cash poor so i do need to stop having negative cash flow and uh You know, it's it's been a bad month, bad year, mostly negative. But overall, my net worth has increased by thirteen thousand. So, despite having terrible cash flow, I'm still winning in the game. Uh, this is just a Gantt chart showing it stacked on top of each other, and total accumulates to two hundred and thirty-one thousand. This is my net worth over my past. So all this, the types of assets stacked on top of each other. And then the black is just my net worth. So it hasn't really gone up too much in the past three, four years or three years, but, uh, you know, steady growth, uh, lately. And then this is just showing individually what they look like. This is cash flow by month. I was really good with keeping positive cash flow for a long time, but lately, not so good. Uh, the house equity change, that's a consistent um, money I get every month. It's awesome. It increases by 2000 a month. And then the car equity change, as soon as I bought it, you know, negative equity. But every time I make a payment every month, it just I gain about $100 in equity. Not significant. Uh, the HSA change, very insignificant, but there it is. Net 401k input. So, um, you know, need to put more into this 401k. Um, you know, I've, I've been better in my past, but for the most part, I've been pretty consistent given to it. And then here's investment interest. You see how it zigs and zags, very uh, vol volatile, but uh, as time increases, it gets higher and lower. Um, because more money's in the pot but yeah this is you know i'm trying to really understand the ingredients of cash flow and or of net worth change and for my uh finances these are the six um i've tried i've i, I put a i put these six into a multiple linear regression model in sas um tried to figure out what was more significant but um you know, it, it, the, the, the math is actually just net worth change equals all six of these added to each other. So it's not a linear regression model. model. But it was interesting to see what the components did. It showed that the 401k input really was a significant factor. It, it uh, had a coefficient of over one. So for every dollar I put in, it increased my net, my net worth by over more than one. Um, and others were less than one. So not so significant 
but um anyway this is uh yeah this new dashboard that i built um called net worth change ingredients and then i also had a, a snapshot it's just something quick to look at at a given month to see what's the big picture so yeah i hope you like it have a good one